Hey guys, we're back with some more raids today. Just a few things I want to cover before we do start this raid. And I have found a base that's pretty epic. Can't wait to do this thing. Anyways, yesterday we made some huge mistakes when raiding. First mistake we made was trying to loot the TC when the server was restarting. All of the loot in the TC got despawned. So I'm going to keep it on when the server's restarting and let's not let that happen again. Second, we got countered on one of the biggest jackpots ever. 100,000 plus sulfur in the TC. This time I've got turrets up and we're going to go with something different here. So we're going to try to instant off the breaching hole that we make. And there's actually a really nice pathway that we can do it on on this next base. Third and last of all, on my second channel, Rust University, I'll be posting a video as soon as this video is released. And it's a tier list of the best weapons in Rust. Go check it out if you guys are interested. But anyways, on to the raid. Let's turn these generators back on and I'll show you guys the base here. All right. So as you can see, it's a rock base, completely sheet metal. Looks like a bunker style. There is a door path, but don't get it twisted. There is more doors than that. Just a couple of the doors have been blasted off already, or maybe he just didn't have enough to upgrade them. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. So yeah, there's already a door right there. And if we check it out, not decaying. So I think still definitely good to raid. And that's actually an armored door. Okay. So right off the bat, we're gonna have to be using 2C4 on this thing. And we can ensign hopefully back here if we need to. Obviously we have a little bit of a buffer with the turrets, but if they do take them down, we'll send ensigns back here to cover our back. Here we go. All right. What do we have? Does it get sealed? Okay, sheet metal door. Probably need to eventually drill. This is way too close to a rock though. So let's take this sheet door. And another sheet door, all right? So armor door just on the front. Okay, this thing is now zigzagging and it's armored. Maybe we start drilling in here now. We are farther away from the rock. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it doesn't become armored. I don't know if we even have enough C4 to do this thing. Come on, let's get a good entrance here. Maybe on a door path. Oh my God, it is armored. Rip. Well, we've got a hard side here. Let's go for this thing. Hmm. Yeah, this is becoming expensive already. I guess we keep going to the right. When in doubt, hit a hard side wall and this is hard side. Hello? Boxes! Let's go! They're sealed off too! Okay, weapons. This was definitely a lot cheaper than I thought. Can we loot that back one? Okay, not letting me loot the back box. Let's try sending 16 rockets. If he's gonna have sealed off loot rooms like this, there might be some boxes above and around, but we'll head to the back and we don't have 16 rockets. We'll send 13, finish it out with Explo. Let's see what was in that back box first. Can we get C4? All right, has these. We'll keep on going. All right, that was my last rocket. We'll keep the ensign launcher there in place and finish the thing out with Explo. Sheet metal foundations on this thing though. Um, looks like there wasn't any boxes above. Oh no, more boxes. They're all individually sealed off, dude. Empty comps, only 23 tech trash. We got back four CC and laptops, so enough to make our turrets back up. But honestly, this comp box is a little bit lacking. I'm kind of nervous now. We're gonna have to use C4, so that kind of sucks unless we go bring some more rockets back. But can we see what was in this back coffin? I believe it was empty. I guess we go straight back or we could go to the left too, but let's try going straight back. 
Let's see what was in that back box. Yes, there's the boom, but it's not that much. 16 rockets. I guess it's enough that we can now finish out some of these walls at once, which is pretty nice. Two auto turrets, supply drop. Can't fit all of that expo ammo right now. Okay, let's finish this out. And I guess we have rockets now. Yo, did somebody just... Somebody's here. Is that the owner? Okay, well, we do still the incense if we need. There's another hard side wall here. Let's keep going with rockets. Maybe send right here. Try to take all of these down. Once again, that's all the rockets used. We still have expo ammo. What's the HP on these? 32, 96. This is another half floor. And this one's 140. We'll try to take all these down. Let's take these two first. Oh no, that's straight up on a rock. Can't even be a box in that one. Yo, that's TC. All right, TC back here behind the half wall. Let's go, locked. Let's get some doors up. Oh no, that's my AK broken. I guess we C4 this thing. Kind of a waste of a C4, but AK literally broke. So that should kill TC. Let's at least get some boxes up. Hopefully we can find some weapons behind this one. Yeah, TC's destroyed. There's boxes in here. No weapons still. <laughs> this isn't good. Well, at the very least, we have doors and a TC up. If we can get HQM from that TC, we have rifle bodies. Should be able to craft an AK. Yeah, and 40,000 uncooked sulfur, let's go. So that eventually brings us into profit. Didn't have too many explosives in here. Let's craft up an AK. Okay, we got the AK back. I don't feel as exposed now. I think that's literally everything though. I don't know if we ever got to check the back box here. Yeah, empty. All right, so. Hey, you're such a fucking f***ed man with your Gay turret standing in front of the door when you're raiding. You're such a f yo, this guy's so salty. <laughs> what the heck? All right, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I think that's it. We found boom, we found comps. Literally, just not as loaded as I was thinking. I mean, it could have been a solo player, you had a key lock, but yeah, we'll have to take that, guys. Anyways, I'll try to find another base, and I'm sure we'll be able to hold it down here. No big clan is countered, just that one salty solo guy. So Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next raid. Okay, dudes. Well, we've got a much bigger clan base here that I'm going to try next. Risking it for the biscuit. We're bringing in a 31 C4. You guys will see how huge those base is. Anyways, I have a plan of trying to raid this thing safely. So can't necessarily be safe with auto turrets. But here's the base. <laughs> you guys can see it's pretty huge. There's a rib outside. Hopefully it doesn't mean they're online. Anyways, what I want to do here is ladder up to their shooting floor. Yo, is that already a door that's missing? I was going to say we can take a sheet door and get in there. Looks like they might already have a door that's missing. Let's Let's see if we can ladder up and get in. But I wanted to hit this thing top down since it's probably wider than it is tall. It looks to be only seven or eight stories tall. Let's see if we can get in there for free. Um, okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a door missing. All right, we're in. Wow, this thing is actually huge. Is it rated or something? Um, well, somebody might have taken a floor here. Exposed controls. The plan was to be able to stay up here and see only one entrance that counter raiders will come through, but looks like there's gaps all over this thing. And I guess we just go ahead and send it. I'm going to drill here where it's already damaged. We got a floor for free. Looks like they sealed off their door pathway going down anyway. So we will have to drill through this thing. I don't know if this will be enough. If they have armored half floors, it definitely will not be enough. Luckily it's sheet metal. So let's give it a shot. I think if we toss 8 C4 here, the 4 C4 should drop down and damage the next floor after this gets destroyed. Let's try it. Okay, 8 C4 down. Let's see if this works. Yeah, we just took two sheet metal floors very quickly and there's twigs. 
Wow, we're down two full floors. Let's keep going. Let's do the same tactic. I think that's another two floors down. Yeah, we're extremely deep in there. There's a light, some sort of lantern or something. And let's keep going, sheet metal. Yo, we should be getting close to foundation. We might need to do a stability check after this. Hmm, looks like we need at least one more floor. We'll do a stability check after this. Armored now. Let's see what the stability is. Yo, that's a campfire running straight in this direction. Maybe we send eight rockets? Okay, that floor's down. That wasn't a foundation. Let's see what was behind that sheet though. Oh, still nothing. Yo, we're so close to that campfire. Let's go straight down where this is weekend. We'll do eight more rockets. Just the counters are probably on the way. Okay, armored floors destroyed. Um, the problem is I use literally all of my ladders already. So if we drop down, I can't really get back up here. Let's see if we can make this happen. We can do two more armored floors and that one should be half HP. Um, okay. Is this foundation? No, this is top of second floor. I guess we take this down and then go in. That's all we have enough for if they're both armored. Actually, we only have enough for one. Well, we better hope this is everything. Legit down to my last two rockets. Can we get anything boxes? Yes. Yo, and it's open. Let's go, dudes. Sleepers. Yo, we need TC. There's TC unlocked. This is looking so good though, guys. Let's get this thing sealed off. We need to find ladders to get all the way back up to the top and seal it off. Turrets on him? Was he about to set up turrets? No way, it's empty. Bro, what is this loot room? Why are they so poor? There we go, they're not poor. 78 C4. Let's go, dudes. GL, let's get that loaded up in case counters drop down, but still searching for ladders. One foot of rope. Are you kidding me? Gear sets. And I guess we don't find any ladders, just the 78 C4. Lockers are empty. Nice little barricade there. So, pretty empty loot room except for the C4, which is kind of random. We just need to be watching this thing for counters to drop down. All right, we did do like four floors of ceiling off there and that'll be the door that the counters drop down. Let's check that TC last, that's all we've got left. Literally just stashing their C4 in here. Come on, baby. Yeah, nice. 52k sulfur. Let's go, dudes. So they had the campfire left running. This was easy clan. Three auto turrets for me. And yeah, I guess that's basically it. Unless they're sealing some crap off behind walls. But we saw comps, TC, boom, everything, guys. Gonna have to call it there. Luckily, no counters. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the next raid. Get you lucky after yesterday's fails. Hey guys, so we're out here scouting. Decided to use the naturally generated raid base, which is the lighthouse. At least this dude built really close to the lighthouse. We've got a boat down below us to take over there. Anyways, I know this base isn't as big as the first two raids, but hey, sometimes it's nice to finish off with just a nice, simple, stress-free raid. Not bringing as much stuff for this 16C4, probably still overkill. We can see there's a hatch on top. But let's get over to this thing and see if we can finish off the video with a third profitable raid. All right, so it did look like there's ladders already placed. I did not place these ladders. Somebody else could have been scouting this thing out, but let's scout it out ourselves. Okay, and he's got a free layer here. Mostly made out of stone, really cheap to raid. Why did I not make that jump? Hatch on the top and, oh my God. Yeah, we can literally get down here armored. Yo, this is an 8C4 raid most likely, unless we can find a cheaper door path. It's almost like a armored two by two sheet metal freaking door though. Let's definitely go for that.
Does it get sealed? Okay, it looks like it gets sealed. We'll send two rockets here just to check if we can get anywhere with that hatch and then probably eventually drilling through this. Yeah, looking like it's a bunker. We'll go straight into here and we've got a counter. This counter could totally just drop down on me. So I'm hoping that we can get TC. Bro. Yes. Okay. Oh, we need to get a door up. Okay, this is so stressful. So much for a non-stressful raid. Oh my god. Alright, he's dead. Is there two? Yes, there is two. Freaking rip, dude. You gotta be kidding. Ah, oh, we didn't even get to check what was in there. Man, we totally could have had that raid. You just suck at defending, man. All right, guys. Well, see you tomorrow in some more raids. I hope you enjoyed. That blows, though.